Home is where connections are made, memories are formed, and ideas are born. And no one knows home better than NFM. Thanks for tuning in to I Am Home, the podcast that goes deeper than trends and dives into what it means to make your house a home. Hello, everybody. Wow, that was fun to watch. Let's transition over here to the podcast <laughs> studio. It's me, Renee Quevedo, stepping in for Tyler Weisscup today. Um, I'm joined this morning by our two lovely hosts of the podcast, as you saw. We've got Hillary over here and Becca. How are you guys doing this morning? So good. Good. Yeah. yeah really bright-eyed, good. bushy-tailed. Yes. It's only 8.30 a.m. Hey, it's an yes. exciting day in retail. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're a pro. So Beck has basically grown up at NFM here. So how many Black Fridays for you is this? Ooh, I mean, it's got to be pushing 30 That's to insane. 35 maybe. I love that. Yeah. I, I've been asking everybody all day today what their, like, tenure is and how mm -hmm. many Black Fridays and all that. Do you have a favorite story for your Black Friday memories? I mean, I don't necessarily have a favorite story, but like it's it's always just super fun. Like I feel like there's just an energy that yeah. makes like working in retail fun. Yeah. So, and even, seeing your boys do it now. Yeah. All three of my kids yeah. actually came today really? for the first time. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah. You so, were saying that they're like, I want to work Black oh, yeah. Friday. They were all like, we got to go to bed. We got to get up early and work tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, you do. I mean, I'm not going to no. argue with that. Right. 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 That's some good work ethic yeah. right there. Yeah. And Hillary, how many Black Fridays have you done? Um, probably. Gosh, I'm making you count on camera. How do you feel about that? 15. That's impressive. Yeah, 12 to 15, somewhere in that range. Yeah, yeah this is my scared, but... first in-person, like on the store floor experience of a Black Friday yeah. here. So yeah, what do you think? It's it's really cool. Rodney wasn't lying. He was like, it's just, it's just like a hum yeah, when uh -huh, people totally. start walking into the door. And I was like, wow. And he's like, and it just is so exciting. Mm -hmm. And it was. We got to comment on how everybody was walking into the store. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool. Yeah. But. Um, we're just really excited to be here today for the podcast. We um, got asked to be a part of the live stream event that we're running for our Black Friday today. So it's been three hours of information. For You've all been those killing shows. it. I don't know about that. That's generous. But we've been out here. We've been making it happen. Mm -hmm. So it's been fun. But yes, so now we get to talk a little bit on the I Am Home podcast. And um, just so you guys know, we've been doing the I Am Home podcast for probably what, like four, three years three years at least it started in 2020 like right uh -huh. after covid because we like did we do we did a couple episodes and then we had to like scramble and come up with a new plan because yeah. everyone got sent home yeah yeah so i think it was like the beginning of 2020 we hit 100 yeah. episodes yeah this yeah, summer just this last summer yeah. yeah very exciting stuff so um again this is our i'm home podcast and we kind of do this because nfm is more than just your everything home store we're in the business of improving lifestyles because your home life should be your best life you can learn more at nfm.com. Okay, so before we start answering our customer questions, because that's on the agenda for the day, we had people kind of comment to get into a uh, giveaway for a $500 NFM gift card. And so we're going to answer some of those questions that they sent us. But I'm just kind of curious. This is the day after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. How was it? I know we had a few episodes about hosting. Did you guys have to be the hosts this year? We don't host. We don't have enough space, but sure. I am looking forward to the, the time we do have the space to do it. We house hop. We hit up. Oh, that's, phone, that's fun. That's super fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like cooking for Thanksgiving is my Super Bowl. Like yeah. I take it very seriously. I was off the last several days and I've been cooking all week. I made my own turkey stock. Oh, my God. This year. That was a new yeah. add to the... Hillary to the menu. Cookbook. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to put out a my... cookbook on us? Well, you know, I'm not creating recipes, okay. but I'm really good at being inspired by other people's okay. recipes. Like so, that? Yeah. Full so to the authenticity of this. Yeah. Morning. So Lots what do you do with it? What do you do with the turkey stuff? Um, I made, cause we smoke a turkey. Okay. <clears throat> yep. And it makes the best turkey. Um, but with that, you don't have like the pan drippings right, to right. make gravy. So okay. made gravy yes. with it. Okay. And then mm -hmm. any recipe that you asks for chicken, chicken broth, yeah, I'm kind that. of like anti boxed oh, stock sure. a lot of a lot of the time. But um, so you set to make the stuffing that I make yeah. from scratch yeah. and any other <clears throat> excuse me recipe that requires like Some broth. broth or stock. I wow. use that. Yeah. 
Just a yeah. little sauce bay over yeah. here. <laughs> Getting it going. <laughs> it was worth it. I'll be doing it every year for sure. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. But your house was just smelling beautifully. Uh-huh. It still smells like turkey. I'm a little over it. Oh, no, sure. I mean, I mean, after five days yeah. of it, quite I think I would aromatic. be too. Yes. Oh, yeah. Our home is quite small, so it oh, is. I'm sure the dogs have been loving it. Too. Yes. <laughs> Just all the sniffs. salivating yeah. in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Becca, how was your Thanksgiving? It was really good. I don't host either. Um, we always go over to my parents. Yeah, that's um, lovely. And we, I don't know, I guess for as long as I remember, yeah. always did it over there. Tradition is But it's just like so family cute. also plus anyone that doesn't have any place to go for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I love that. it's like half and half, which yeah. is super fun because every year there's new and different uh-huh. people yeah. and i love that just whoever doesn't have a place to go can totally is it like all the card tables like popped yes. up around the house mm. yeah. yes i love that and then we have a tradition where we play bingo okay and That's it's fun. super fun my grandma started it and like you don't ever clear your card and everybody gets bingo it's like every <laughs> every number wins. that's called it's like 37 bingos oh my god that's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> and yeah the kids are just waving their money and it's yeah. really fun yeah oh, that's super that's fun yeah, yeah. and yeah. then they went and played poker afterwards so oh, i think and then they a lot of them their money came home with zero dollars <laughs> yeah you know they gotta learn that <laughs> that's what i said i was like i think it's a bad plan but you guys are gonna have to learn the hard way yeah so it's good it's good when it's family that's taking your money because you might see it on the return someday. Maybe. Maybe. If yeah. I'm close with them. Yeah. <laughs> Gambling ring. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> kind of. I love being taken care of on Thanksgiving. So like people like Hillary that like to provide all mm-hmm. the fixins or just like the home for everyone to kind of powwow in is so fun. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So we've got some questions rolling oh, in. Oh my from gosh. Look at you. Oh. Tyler. Oh. Okay, let's see what he says. I'd love to ask the podcast hosts about their favorite episodes over the years. Good question. That is a good question. Okay, does anybody want to start? I think I have my all-time favorite. Okay, go. Uh, I want to say Trisha Yearwood. (gasps) I loved loved getting to talk to her, and she was just so down to earth. And, like, I love the fact that they have, like, an open door. Mm -hmm. Like, come over in your pajamas. And I feel like she shared lots of awesome recipes and fun stories. And so that was... She sent a cookbook. Yes. She yes. sent us a cookbook. Yes. Yeah, and a holiday was, card. Yes. Signed holiday yes. card. She, she was very gracious. And I really... That's a very memorable one for me. Yeah. yeah. So just a little info on our uh, formats we do here. We do a few live stream or a few mini-sodes throughout the year. Um, once a week, we're dropping them on Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. And then we have longer format interviews with people that were in contact just through having a, mm-hmm. a banging business. So mm-hmm. Trisha Yearwood was one of those people we got to talk yeah. to. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Did that give you time? <laughs> yeah. The one that always comes to mind just, um, it was, we had CeeDee Lamb. Oh, that was going to be my next one. Early in his career. Yes. Okay. Which he's is like pretty killing awesome. it now. Yes. yes. He's on my yes. NFL Me fantasy too. team. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Let's he's killing it. Uh, he's on my team yeah. also. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he just like, I think he just like bought his first house and we were helping him finish his first house. And I think he woke up just like minutes before (laughs) the interview and just was like so casual, easygoing. The candles. Yeah. The candles were so fun. Yes. Told us about his favorite candle fragrances Uh that he buys. And I just, that one that just always pops into my head. And as a Cowboys fan, it's a a pretty cool. Yeah. Thing to that was a good one. to flex on people. Yeah, seriously, mm-hmm. especially the, now that he's like crushing it out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I'd probably for myself. Sometimes I get to write some of them, but my favorite are when I get to do old Tyler in a product versus. Yes. Oh. I don't know why, but it it gives me like so much joy <laughs> trying to figure out what product so feature I can. Over there. Yes, I very much am. Yeah. And he knows it too. So thanks for that question, Tyler. But every time I beat you in a product uh-huh. versus episode is yeah. my favorite episode. Funny you brought that up. Yeah, no, I was waiting for that question, yeah. I guess. And in terms right of I the was bat. just ready. I was like, Ugh, ready to go. But uh-huh. yeah. Okay, we got, oh, here we go. Aw, from Amy. Happy Thanksgiving, Amy. Yes, thank you, Amy. Happy Thanksgiving right back. Hopefully you're enjoying your time with fam. Unless you're here, banging down the door on Black <laughs> Friday. And then we'll see you after this. <laughs> That's incredible. We'll wait for another one to pop through here, but um, I'm curious here. Oh, here we go. What design trends are you excited for in 2024? Mm. Okay, Miss Thing. Yeah. What are you seeing? What can we know? Oh, so much. Um, 
I love that things generally are just getting warmer in mm. tone. Like, what are they called? The millennial gray. Yeah. Um, where everything was just very stark yes, and yes. cold and gray. Things, colors are getting warmer. Fabrics are getting like warmer, cozier. Yeah. Um, everything. It's like this like revised traditional that I'm really into. Like and it's that. like it all kind of ties back to this like sense of nostalgia, mm -hmm. I think, um, and making homes comfortable. So you're seeing more like traditional silhouettes and you're seeing like warmer wood tones mm -hmm. come back. Like even in, in yeah. kitchen, everybody's like paint kitchens, everybody's painted their, their cabinets white or a neutral color, but seeing yeah. like darker, richer, warmer yeah. woods, used floors, cabinets, furniture. Um, that's what I'm yeah. most looking forward to personally. I yeah. I love seeing all the like different tiles that people are bringing yes. into yes. their homes mm -hmm. and where they're putting it, how they're kind of doing it, the different ways that they kind of like yep. come together mm -hmm. in a different pattern. Like I saw a plum like really reflective plum color mm -hmm. tile. And I was like, dang, I want that. Of course, it's like $500 a square foot. Yeah. So like, mm, maybe yeah. not my budget. But <laughs> right. And so the, many uh, of them are being like handmade, yeah. like those liege tiles that are that really are handmade cool and have a lot of character and yeah, texture. Really into tile. Not yeah. that I've ever like grouted and done all that myself, but <laughs> I feel like I could do it. No, because I think you can do so much with it, right? Yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's, you can make it Mm -hmm. just such a unique space with just mm -hmm. and even for it being like a hard surface mm -hmm. and potentially even cold feeling mm -hmm. you know it with all the color and pattern and yeah. it's just, yeah. it ends up being warm I yeah mean, however creative you get with it but right yeah how about you what's your favorite trend I mean I don't know if this is I don't think it's probably new but like I still love like just like bits and places of like with wallpaper I think you mm -hmm. can do so much fun stuff mm -hmm. with wallpaper because I, I think it's you're right like for such for such a long time it was all like stark just stark and white uh -huh. and gray like nothing yeah. like fun and so I think that I love I love fun wallpapers and yeah. the options now yes they're just so I mean you can and do easy so to much do. yeah it's not hard like and even the ordering stick. process yeah yeah mm -hmm. they make it super easy they tell you yeah. how the roll is going to come where it's going to start mm -hmm. stop how much inches yeah clearance you need yeah. to start the next one so yeah it's all even in a line it's like so easy we just did our risers oh yeah you showed stairs. I feel like I did yeah. I where did I see those you, you showed us I, I showed I think I showed you guys a yeah. photo yes but I also posted I posted they look amazing but yeah, yeah. And, and, and so fun it was good I mean I was tired of seeing like the dog hair get static stuff. yes so I put a pattern there so I don't <laughs> see it as much and it's so, so great smart. <laughs> yeah I'm just like out of sight of mine yeah. whatever it's awesome but yeah I'm with you with the wall I love easy to clean mm -hmm. yes you know? So even and if you're in an apartment or something. Right. Less of a commitment. Yeah. I, that's what I, I think that's what I love the most Versus is like can, the paste yes. of wallpaper yes. Yes. that was up there. Yes. Or even getting out all the paint equipment and cleaning the brushes. You can mm -hmm. just paint, use wallpaper instead if yep. you mm -hmm. want to change it up yep. often. So that's good really, point. that's a good question. I'm glad we all had something yeah. different there to share. Okay, here we go. Question for podcast host. You do a lot of holiday themed episodes. Same. What holiday is your favorite? <laughs> I like that. Anybody feel particularly strong about one? Um, I don't know the the obviously the ones we talk about trends. Oh yeah, I'm always partial to. Yeah. and then also hearing about memories or like traditions uh -huh. like that is I think a fun one we've squeezed in and not necessarily like a holiday themed episode, but uh -huh. when we're interviewing guests during the holidays, like asking about their traditions who was it that said their dad picks them up from the airport it was full... one of the it was one of the guys that we had in for the berkshire episode oh yes oh. yes <laughs> somebody like santa costume dad picks them up in a full-blown santa costume from the airport yeah. Wait, every year like, so Ted no it wasn't oh, was it was say. like one of the like oh, people, people we just came pulled, like from the shopping. like a customer mm -hmm. from the oh, okay. store yeah, yeah, yeah. and i want to say it was when we asked them like mm -hmm. what something that seems like normal oh. when you were uh, younger yeah. that you know you've grown up as adult now and yeah, you're like, and you're like that's, that's not normal most families don't said. do that <laughs> yeah oh mm -hmm. yeah that's fun i think i was sitting on the sideline over there listening to that one yeah that burke episode is always really fun so mm -hmm. for the listeners that haven't caught any of our burke episodes um nfm hosts the burke um picnic every year and it's a big deal mm -hmm. we offer a really hot deal on the food and then we're in here in the podcast one of the days when all the deals are going on the floor for um, stockholders mm -hmm. and we pull people off the floor and we interview them and it's super fun. We get people that fly in from all over on the podcast. So it's mm -hmm. really a cool opportunity for us, not only to interact with them, but to just hear those awesome stories. Yeah, really cool stories. 
Here we go. Yes, Tina. <laughs> Love shopping at NFM. We Likewise. do, too. <laughs> yes. We do, too. I can agree with that statement. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have a favorite holiday one? I would say, I mean, I love Halloween. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's, I feel like it's so fun. That's usually what I, like, we decorate the most for. Yeah. Um, I love, like, the winter holidays, but we're, we're gone a lot, so I tend to not do a lot because yeah. then we're never there to enjoy it. Sure. Right. Um, Unnecessary so work. That yeah. I'm just, like, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, we're, we're usually gone most of the, like, Holiday. winter, yeah. like, holidays. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would nice say Halloween's fun. fun. And my kids like actually help me with it and they think it's fun. So it's such yeah. a growing um, holiday for decor. decor. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. We're seeing even like sales in our like, yeah. seasonal accessories. Like Halloween has just grown. That's cool. Significantly to the point where there's like multiple trends within oh, yeah, yeah, Halloween that's... too, which is really yeah. fun. Looking at some of the forecasts for 2024. Yeah. I think there was one that we got to see and it was like super goo like, like a lot of like sculpt like skulls and uh -huh. like really like deep gothic kind of yeah. feel. Uh -huh. And I think that that's right up my alley. I really like that kind of dark vibe. Yeah. But <gasps> I love shopping there more than my Randy. <laughs> Randy, you better log off right now before she comes find you. <laughs> You're gonna get your finger smashed in your computer. <laughs> but we like that energy. Yes. Bring it. Yeah. Bring yes. It. We support that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's popping. Just seeing out into the store floor right now, mm -hmm. there's so many people. We can see all the doorbusters. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We know Hillary loves her social media. What is she crazy <laughs> for now? Okay. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm enjoying – what am I enjoying? Well, of course, I was watching so many cooking, cooking yep. recipes. Like the other day, I just like – was seeking recipes yeah. and just like searched for that. What are the other trends that I'm really enjoying? I feel like your hair always looks so cool every time you come in. Like My hair? You always got good hair when you come in. Whether it's Thank like you. slicked back or Thank you just you. got a new do on every That time. was my like senior superlative. Was it was the best hair? Best hair. Really? Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's hilarious. Strong. Right. I, I mean like I true have, to character. I yeah. have a reputation to it. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> What small town are you from again? No. Hamburg, right? Yes. Well, the Hamburg. reputations yeah. in Hamburg <laughs> cannot <laughs> be. Yep. Right. Um, I'm loving That's everybody good. doing their like wish lists oh, yeah. for the holidays, like sharing what um, ideas they yes have. and yeah. gift guides i enjoy just seeing like what pops yeah. up yeah. on there because that's something i take probably way too seriously but yeah i've been enjoying them i've been really into the sharing. artists that have gotten like okay so not only do you have to like sell your product but you also like have to sell the process of you creating your uh -huh. product i feel like now on instagram and just getting to see like designers mm -hmm. do that and like artists do that it's really cool mm -hmm. okay Let's see. Interior. Interiors are great to bounce yes. off ideas. Yeah, heck yes. yeah. We've got a whole bunch of interior designers here on staff yes. every yes. day. So awesome. This okay. has been really fun. Yeah. yeah. I've been having a lot of fun chatting we with you guys. Again. Yeah. L same time next year. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like an hour or so later. <laughs> yeah. Like sleeping a little bit more. I don't know about you guys, but okay. So we just got the we need to start wrapping things up sign. So I just want to thank everybody who sent in a question this morning and congratulations to our winner of the $500 gift card. And congratulations to everybody. It's Black Friday, all the savings to be had for mm -hmm. everyone. So I want to thank Becca and Hillary and our producer, Derek, he's back there. Um, Scott, who put on the whole live stream with the team, Adam. There's working just a whole hard. bunch of people working yeah. hard yeah. today. Um, everybody on the sales floor. It's been an incredible day. So, um, And I want to thank you, listeners. Um, we hope you have a wonderful holiday season. And we will be back again soon with new episodes weekly. We invite you to like, rate, and subscribe to our I Am Home podcast. Wherever you listen, we're everywhere, you guys. So if you want to find out more about what we're talking about on the I Am Home podcast, it's really easy to find us. Um, and there's more about us to, um, oh, I'm sorry. I really butchered that. But if you want to learn more about us, you can <laughs> see um, us on NFM.com. So where you can shop 24-7 for today's top furnishing styles. Until then, home is what you make it. Thanks for joining us today for I Am Home with Tyler Weiskopf, Hillary Waltemath, and Becca Sudbeck. No one knows home quite like NFM. So if you'd like more information on home design at NFM, please check out NFM.com and leave us a review on the podcast platform of your choice.